tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News. Good afternoon. The news continues on WKYT. Bill Bryant and Barbara Bailey reporting at 1230. We're tracking the investigation into an early morning shooting. It happened about 830 this morning on Spring Run Road near Stanford in Lincoln County. Neighbors say they heard a gunshot. They think an argument led up to the shooting. I couldn't believe it. I was amazed. I was like, oh, my God. Police say they are having trouble figuring out what happened because the victim left the scene. They think he was shot in the foot or the leg. They did track down the suspected shooter. A reward for information in a double murder is growing. The AMVETS Post 116 in Laurel County is offering a $2,200 reward in the murders of Donnie and Sharon Jackson. The pair was found shot to death in their home on Slate Ridge Road earlier this month. The house was also set on fire. London Laurel County Crime Stoppers is already offering a $1,000 reward for information leading to an arrest as well. A woman accused of giving a toddler alcohol says she's not guilty. Angela Spoonamore entered the plea during a hearing this morning. Police say she tried to get her 14-month-old nephew beer and rum in a sippy cup at a Garrett County home on Saturday. We're told she also picked up the child and threw him on the floor while drunk and arguing with others at the home. Spoonamore is charged with several counts, including endangerment and criminal abuse. A two-year-old is dead after a fire. A travel trailer caught fire in Caldwell County with 28-year-old Brandon Hayes and his three children inside. An eight-year-old suffered serious injuries and had to be flown to Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville. Hayes and a four-year-old weren't hurt. Police are investigating, but they say they don't suspect foul play. A driver had to be airlifted to UK hospital after a morning crash today. It happened on northbound Interstate 75 at the 57 mile marker in Rockcastle County, just south of Mount Vernon. You can see from the pictures a tractor trailer overturned right there on the interstate. The Mount Vernon Fire Department says the driver suffered non life threatening injuries. A Whitley County dentist entered a plea in a Medicaid fraud case. The state attorney general says Ronald Hungerbuehler billed Medicaid for for dental exams that he should have performed on patients at a local nursing home, but didn't. Hungerbuehler entered an offered plea and received a one-year probation. He must also pay $16,000 to the Kentucky Department of Medicaid Services and has agreed not to ask for his dental license back. We continue to learn some new details about the pilot suspected of intentionally crashing that jetliner over in the Alps, carrying 150 people on board. As Chris Van Cleve shows us, German prosecutors confirm they found evidence of suicidal issues in co pilot Andre Lubitz's medical history. Andreas Lubitz flying a glider stands in contrast to the 27-year-old co-pilot who investigators believe intentionally crashed German wings flight 9525. On Monday, prosecutors said prior to receiving his pilot's license, Lubitz was treated for suicidal thoughts. His doctors documented him to be unable to work and to fly. But these documents don't show any hint of being suicidal or being aggressive against other people. Prosecutors here in Germany discounted reports that Lubitz was having vision issues. They say they have not found a suicide note or any evidence of a motive. A German newspaper published what it says is a transcript of the cockpit voice recorder. While going over landing procedures for Dusseldorf, Lubitz says, hopefully, and we'll see. When the captain tries to re-enter the cockpit after taking a bathroom break, he finds the door locked. He bangs on the door, shouting, for God's sake, open the door. Passengers are heard screaming. Later, an automatic warning goes off. Terrain, pull up. More screams, then nothing. In the French Alps, crews are building a road to the crash site so debris can be removed. And investigators have so far recovered DNA from at least 78 victims. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Dusseldorf, Germany. Now, the chief operating officer of German Wings met with family members of passengers. He said it was the saddest day of his life, adding the families kept asking again and again why this happened. He says, unfortunately, he doesn't have any answers. 
President Obama plans to visit Kentucky later this week. According to the White House, the president will visit Louisville for an economic event in, uh, in that city. He visited the city during his campaign in 2008, but this is his first visit as president. And we'll let you know as we find out more details about his visit. Well, when it comes to financial health, a new report out today finds Kentucky's rural hospitals in critical condition. According to the state auditor's report released this morning, one third face serious financial troubles. Now, it's a major concern when you consider half of Kentuckians live in rural areas. The results echo a WKYT investigation we brought you three months ago. WKYT's Mark Barber has more now on the report. Mark? The results of a year-long study into rural hospitals are in, and the state auditor says they are concerning. The special report shows that the majority of Kentucky's 66 rural hospitals are below the national average in financial strength and one-third are in poor financial health. State Auditor Adam Edelin says there are also concerns about maintaining adequate access to health care. According to Edelin, a shrinking private insurance market is hurting rural hospitals because private insurance reimburses above the rate of service, unlike government insurance. He says in eastern Kentucky, many people are relying more heavily on government insurance because some employers, especially in the coal industry, are no longer able to provide private insurance. 45% of people in the state receive health care at rural hospitals. In our series of investigative reports last month, Nicholas County officials told us they think that the system is in crisis because rural hospitals are burdened with a greater number of Medicaid patients. Edelin says while this report doesn't investigate the reasons behind why rural hospitals may be failing, he says he thinks one of the biggest problems they're facing is a changing economy. When you see a disappearance of private insurance, and a heavier utilization of government insurance, your, your, your uh, former business model has to be transformed. Edelin says if rural hospitals are to survive, they must change. And he says the government needs to facilitate that change. He says he is recommending that the governor convene a task force that will look for new ways for these hospitals to continue providing care, even though it is becoming increasingly difficult to do so. In Frankfurt, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you. And Edlin also recommends the Cabinet for Health Family Services start monitoring rural hospitals so they can better understand what's happened and how to help. Well, it's been a lucky day for about 700 UK students. They were the ones chosen to buy final four tickets through the student lottery. The tickets cost about $40 each, and the Wildcats, uh, if they win, when they win on Saturday, they'll get into the final game for free. While many students will make the trip to Indianapolis, others are happy to watch from Lexington. I love the college experience, uh, especially because uh, there's people that out of uh, 20,000 students, everyone just becomes close friends and uh, chance for the cats. And we're one, one big family, big blue nation. If you're looking for tickets, you probably won't get as good a deal. Right now, the cheapest ticket packages on the NCAA ticket exchange are about $600. Those are the cheapest, so what is the, <laughs> the other seat. extreme? Oh, well. <laughs> right. You don't want to know, probably. All right, a new study looks at knee injuries in young athletes. And a warning about how to measure medicine for children. Ebony Williams has details in this Better Living report. Regular kitchen spoons are not the right tools for measuring children's medicine. The American Academy of Pediatrics is urging parents, doctors, and pharmacists to use devices with metric measurements like dosing cups or syringes. Each year, more than 70,000 children go to emergency rooms because of accidental medication overdoses. A new policy statement in the journal Pediatrics recommends against random drug testing in schools. The report says there's not enough evidence the tests actually help prevent substance abuse, and doctors are concerned about the risk of false positives and about straining relationships between students and their schools. Young athletes who undergo ACL surgery are at a higher risk for re-injury to the knee. A new study on sports medicine examined ACL reconstructions for patients 18 and younger. It found more than 30 percent re-injured their knees as adults. Those are some of the day's top health stories. Ebony Williams, CBS News, New York. 
And there's much more to come on WKYT News at 1230. The Lexington Division of Police is recruiting more women officers. We'll have details on what females bring to the force and how you could have a career in law enforcement. Different perspective for sure. Also, the hit musical classic, Nuns Having Fun, Sister Act, is coming to the Lexington Opera House. And it is a beautiful Monday outside. Look at, Look at all that blue. Of course, we've got some clouds out there, but our temperatures aren't being impacted by them. We'll take a closer look coming up for you. More real news every morning. Intelligence services are on alert this morning. If you had one concern about where the market is today, what would it be? How do you get the confidence back of the American people? That's our promise to you. It is a story you'll see only on CBS This Morning. See for yourself on CBS This Morning. Sign up now for text alerts on WKYT.com. When news happens and you need to know, get the big stories right on your phone. WKYT text alerts. Hi, I don't have insurance, so I was hoping my exam and x-rays would be free. Well, I was hoping the dentist would ask me to marry him. <laughs> but we don't all get what we want now, do we? <laughs> okay, let's try something new. I was hoping my exam and x-rays would be free. They are. I was hoping you'd say that because that's a normal thing to say. At Aspen Dental, we're not just fixing teeth, we're fixing dentistry. With free exams and x-rays for new patients without insurance. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For almost 30 years, we've represented hundreds of thousands of people and have collected billions of dollars in settlements and verdicts for things that were wrongfully taken from our client, their health and loved ones, financial security and peace of mind, standing up for people bringing those to justice who did them wrong. We fight bullies and rule breakers for a living. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Scan your item. Rescan your item. We're building a better world at Time Warner Cable. Rescan your, re your item. And you never know what will make you late for your favorite show. Please place in bag. Rescan your item. That's why we invented this. Now you can start over thousands of your favorite shows with a click of a button. And it's free for subscribers. So even if the episode's in progress, you'll never miss a minute. With an offer like this, there's never been a better time to switch. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. I'm Audrey Robinson. And I'm Don. We've been through cancer together. It's not only the latest evidence-based treatments at the UK Marquee Cancer Center, Kentucky's only NCI-designated center that have helped Audrey in her battle with cancer. Don has been by her side every step of the way, too. We've had really good care for nine years. I felt really confident with Markey Medicine. UK Healthcare, that's why we're here. Bill Bryant and Rebecca Smith, only on WKYT This Morning. Now, your hour-by-hour hour forecast with meteorologist Jim Caldwell and First Alert Defender. Gorgeous day underway outside right now with all of that blue skies and, of course, the sunshine finding its way to many areas. Now, we do have some clouds also trying to filter in, and you can see them. They're a little broken from time to time. Correct conditions. Right now in Lexington, we are at 54 degrees. Feels like temperature, of course, it's at 54 degrees, but visibility is way out there. We're talking about a solid looking day. And again, we do have the clouds around out. Now, we throw all of our temperatures together, and we actually throw all of that right on Defender. And you can even track some of the clouds as well, and still holding on to a little bit more showing up across parts of southeastern Kentucky. But you can see how some of them are starting to decorate the skies from southern parts of Ohio all the way back into the Lexington area as well. So not all of us are seeing quite the cloud cover that we have out there. Mid-50s, pretty common sight. Anywhere you go across central or eastern Kentucky, we put it into motion. We just animate the past couple of hours so you can see the development of some of those clouds. And that's what they've done. They've just kind of popped up over the last little bit here. Boom, boom, boom. You'll start to see them start covering up some areas. Our zone by zone forecast will include, of course, the clouds. But we're talking mainly about it being a much milder day when you compare it to yesterday as we knock on 60 degrees door. 61 Richmond for you today, around 59 here in Lexington. We cruise off to southern parts of Kentucky, upper 50s, low 60s. It's the same old song and dance anywhere you go across Kentucky, except maybe out in eastern Kentucky where we closer to the Kentucky-Virginia state line, where they'll hold on to some of those clouds maybe a little while longer, and that might prevent them from really running up the thermometer today. 
Our hour by hour forecast tracks those clouds in and out of the skies, also tracks another little system, a dry passage it looks like for the most part. It does have the potential to squeeze a sprinkle or a very small shower out across the eastern parts of Kentucky, but pretty dry for the rest of us. And there you can even see some of that moisture trying to get going there with a the stray shower chance once we get into the latter part of the day tomorrow. Our seven day forecast does have rain chances, just not within the first three days of it. We're looking really good here. Milder day on Tuesday, 67 degrees. That front passes through and it only knocks us down a degree, one degree. And then the rest of the seven day forecast, there you see those shower and thunderstorm chances. And another active situation going into the weekend with a big dip and our temperatures coming our way. But overall, we need to enjoy this week, guys. It's, it's a good looking, at least start to it. Right, savor these days as we head uh, toward that uh, cooler weekend, it looks like. But then, uh, then we'll have basketball to heat things up, right? Of course, that's <laughs> so the it way it works. works. Out. All right, listen up, women. If you're interested in a career in law enforcement, now might be your chance. The Lex Lexington Division of Police is recruiting female officers. We're joined now by Officer Varinka Ensminger with details about an upcoming women's symposium. Welcome, glad to have you here. Thanks for having us this afternoon, actually. Yeah, right. Now I appreciate it. Well, this is an opportunity for women to learn about opportunities in law enforcement, whether they might have uh, any interest at all or and just to know really uh, what's out there, right? Yeah, exactly. A lot of women think that they have to have a criminal justice degree to come out of their apartment, but we're a lot more versatile than that. A lot of us don't have criminal justice degrees. We have other, you know, degree fields, accounting, public relations. Uh, physics, chemistry, whatever it may be. Um, but we want them to come, have the opportunity to talk to women. So we'll have folks from our detective bureau, they'll be there. We have some of our command staff, some of our sergeants, some of our officers, anywhere from two years on all the way to 25 years for them to interact with, ask their questions, be able to see some of the really cool high tech stuff we have in our department. And I'm sure you are wanting more women to be recruited into this area. Why has it been such a good career for you? Um, every day is different. I have a great staff I work with, uh, a lot of really fun coworkers, and a lot of people to mentor and teach me different things. Um, it, it's fun. Uh, I meet people like you guys. I get to go out in the community and meet folks. The other day, you know, my day was so different. I was at Run the Bluegrass advertising. I was at Beaumont Middle School, Bryan Station Middle School, Winburn Middle School, talking to children in eighth grade that are thinking about careers in, in high school and get ready to develop themselves in college. I hang out with uh, Lafayette's high school track team, and I'm trying to get some of those guys to get interested in the career field. Do you think it's important that women bring a different perspective to the police department? Uh, there is some research that indicates that women Officers use less physical force, as an example. Yeah, we a lot of times we're able to relate to victims and, and situations different than men. And a lot of times we we um, are able to de-escalate situations based on you know communication and just being able to you know maybe relate to somebody in a manner that maybe our, our male counterparts can't. So we think uh, we make an essential tool in the team and the. The team can't function without different representation. So if people want to take advantage of the symposium, be a part of it, what do they need to do? Okay, they need to go online, our webpage, lexingtonky.gov forward slash recruit. We have a hyperlink on there. We also have a PDF file that tells you all about it. Starts at nine, runs till about two. And the really great thing is, if you want to test, we'll even let you test that day when the symposium is done to help get that knocked out of the way. All very right. good. Officer, All thank right. you very much for coming in. Thank appreciate you. I appreciate it. it. All right. Thanks. Coming next, based on the hit movie starring Whoopi Goldberg, Sister Act will be center stage in Lexington. We'll have a preview from our friends at the Opera House next on WKYT. I'm Alex Trebek. If you're age 50 to 85, I have an important message about security. Write down the number on your screen so you can call when I finish. The lock I want to talk to you about isn't the one on your door. This is a lock for your life insurance, a rate lock that guarantees your rate can never go up at any time for any reason. But be careful. Many policies you see do not have one. But you can get a lifetime rate lock through the Colonial Pen Program. Call this number to learn more. This plan was designed with a rate lock for people on a fixed income who want affordable life insurance that's simple to get. Coverage options for just $9.95 a month, less than 35 cents a day. Act now and your rate will be locked in for life. It will never increase. Guaranteed.
This is lifelong coverage that can never be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Guaranteed. And your acceptance is guaranteed, with no health questions. You cannot be turned down because of your health. Call for your information kit and read about this rate lock for yourself. You'll also get a free gift with great information. Both are free, with no obligation. Don't miss out. Call for information, then decide. Read about the 30-day 100% money-back guarantee. Don't wait. Call this number now. Call 1-800-440-4200 for your free information and a free gift. There's no obligation. That's 1-800-440-4200. Or visit us online at colonialpen.com. That number again is 1-800-440-4200. 1-800-440-4200. Call now. So, you've got these projects on your list. You've been wanting to update your kitchen, organize your closets, and build the backyard oasis of your dreams. But where do you start? Well, projects solved. The Central Kentucky Home and Garden Show is here. Need a reliable contractor? You'll find them at the show. Need a landscaping pro? They're here too. Bring photos of your projects and meet with the experts. Then compare and save with exclusive show-only deals. There's only one place to find it all next weekend at the Lexington Center. I love him, but he can be so forgetful. That's probably why he hasn't signed up for Simple Saver. All you have to do is call or click. I called Simple Saver. We'll save energy, help the environment, and get free energy credits. It's so simple. <laughs> A message from Kentucky's Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. Welcome back in. WKYT's Noon News Hour continues. It's all about nuns having fun. The beloved musical uh, classic called Sister Act is coming to the Lexington Opera House. We're joined now by Lou Ann Franklin, Director of Performing Arts at the Lexington Opera House, with more. And we do thank you very much for coming in. This is a fun one. We are so excited. And there are a group of nuns, if you haven't seen our Facebook page, <laughs> you know that are having a lot of fun in Lexington as we as we build up to our date which is April 24 through 26. Doing what? What have they been doing? Well let's see of course it is March Madness so last week we found our nuns on the Rupp Arena floor mm -hmm. having a little mm -hmm. practice. Coach, um, we had a coach who was drawing up some wonderful plays. We saw some great slam dunks in a nun's habit. So you need to check this out. Yeah, if you that would be worth it. And, and really, we're having a lot of fun with it. The nuns have been at uh, several other locations. We're going to be visiting Clark Distributing uh, this week, actually, as they are our sponsor for Sister Act. So it is a fun show. Um, we're hoping that everyone's kind of catching nun fever as we are getting ready for it in April. For those who love the movie with the Whoopi Goldberg, uh, how will this stage presentation compare? You know, it is the same story, the same storyline, um, a few little twists and turns, and of course the added music. Mm -hmm. And not the same music that you saw in, in the uh, movie with Whoopi, mm -hmm. but she was the producer, original producer of this show on Broadway, so it's got her touch to it. It's a great, fun evening for the whole family. What's your favorite selection with all the music? Um, I would say Take Me to Heaven. Take Me to Heaven. Take Me to Heaven. It's a wonderful old sound gospel sounding uh, chorus of the nuns. It's lots of fun. Well, it runs April 24th through 26th at the uh, Lexington Opera House. And then after that, Rain? We have Rain, uh, the tribute to the Beatles. We had this show scheduled in February back when we had some bad weather yeah. and we had to postpone it. <laughs> okay, but with so much better weather, people much, will enjoy it even more. Coming up uh, May 18th, and we're real excited about that. And we'll be launching our uh, announcement event for the new Broadway Live season right after that on May 20th. Tomorrow night we have a wonderful show. Rhiannon Giddens will be at the Opera House. If you haven't heard about her, mu wonderful musical artist, crosses many genres and uh, just launched her new album. This will be an, an event that people will be saying, gosh, I wish I'd gotten there. Right. Another reason to be there. Thanks Thank you very much. so much. We'll check weather before we go on WKYT News at noon.
Hello everyone, Amber Canoy here for Moms Every Day. We're over in Beaumont at one of the townhomes by Andover Construction. And Mike Hall is giving us some great advice because everybody is taking their shower, they're getting ready for the day, and mom jumps in the shower, and what happens? There's no hot water. So how can we remedy this? So one great alternative is uh, tankless water systems. So whether you are remodeling an existing home, your hot water tank goes out, or you're building a new home, a uh, tankless water heater will give you constant water. It, it won't go out. Um, you can have the washing machine running. You can have the, you know, everyone can take their shower in the morning and get ready. Uh, they're very energy efficient because you're not constantly heating the water that's in the tank. So a tankless water heater is a great alternative. All right, for more information, go online to momseveryday.com. Hey. What do you think that sign says? Eat more ch. What is ch? Well, it's the start of a word. Something like eat more cheese. Or eat more chili. Chocolate. Eat more chocolate. No, no, it's chowder. Chimichangas. Cheesecake. Chewing gum. It could be chewing gum. That's not how you spell chicken. I'm pretty sure. Half lemonade, half ice cream. New frosted lemonade, starting at 240 calories. My name is John West Adams. I'm 26 years old. I should be dead. In 2014, John West Adams was rushed to UK Healthcare, where UK Gilhart Institute specialists were able to save John's life and diagnose him and his twin brother Gardner with a rare type of inherited arrhythmia that can lead to sudden cardiac death. Through John West, he saved my life. I think it was a blessing that he was taken to UK. Yeah, really glad he was UK. UK Healthcare, that's why we're here. This feeling is closer than you think. Water is back up at Lake Cumberland, and Jamestown Marina invites you to get away to it all. Bring your family and friends and rent a houseboat. Prices starting under $1,000. Add a wave runner and let the fun begin. Come on down and make memories that will last a lifetime. Call Jamestown Marina or visit jamestown-marina.com. Now accepting houseboat and lodging reservations for 2015. New 2015 Camrys and new 2015 Avalons. $4,000 off MSRP and 0% financing. All this from Frankfurt Toyota. I know. I know. Want to know too? Come to the I Know Expo and learn from experts about aging well and coping with disabilities. Sunday, April 12, noon to 5 at the Lexington Center. Admission is free. Tracking, alerting, protecting. WKYT First Alert Weather. Track storms anytime, everywhere with the WKYT Weather App. <laughs> All right, we have some sunshine out there, and it's warming up as well. You it, can feel it, it. it is warming up. It's making us all happy around here. We're, of course. We're, yeah, we're getting into the uh, upper 50s, low 60s across parts of Kentucky today. It gets even warmer Tuesday, Wednesday with sunshine. Problem is, with the late week stuff, it rains. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> we'll enjoy getting there. But, yeah. Thank you for joining us for WKYT News at Noon. Have a great day.